I'm here in New York with Motorola 20 years after the first Moto Razr was released. In 2024, we get a new Moto Razr Plus and it comes in the iconic hot pink. That's hot. Good day, you beautiful people. Welcome to Isidus Tech, where we do tech in your life in style. Very excited about today's video because I got my hands on the new Moto Razr Plus 2024. And yes, on this new phone, we're looking at an even bigger screen, a smaller hinge, and you guessed it, AI. Motorola did just announce two devices, the Razr Plus we have here and the new base Moto Razr 2024. More on that other phone in another video and that's also where I'm gonna be putting the Razr Plus side by side with the new Razr. I'll link it up here and down below. So in this video, we'll be focusing on the Moto Razr Plus 2024. So I got the hot pink device over here and it's very reminiscent of the original Moto Razr. Do you remember that? I absolutely wanted that phone. And so this is a very welcome color. I love it. There are other fun colors too. This phone comes in midnight blue, spring green, or peach fuzz. This hot pink comes in a different vegan leather suede finish, which I would describe as smoother but still matte, while all other phones come in a vegan leather finish. Right off the bat, I can tell you this phone is very comfortable to hold. It's small enough for my tiny hands and it has a nice, very premium feel. Now, this is a smaller hinge, 30% smaller to be exact. This means better dust protection, a smaller crease, and yes, there still is a crease as all folding phones do. Finally, because of this hinge, it supposedly is easier to maneuver with one hand. I didn't about maneuvering with one hand it's still pretty hard because I have tiny hands it's doable but it's still hard I will say though that this hinge on the new one is actually smoother than the hinge on the older Moto Razr Plus also this new hinge does feel sturdier and remember when I said that the old Razr had this feeling that it's not fully unfolded even when it is I do get a feel that when I open it, it can open a little bit more, but I mean, I don't know, that actually like <laughs> looks pretty flat. That's gone now. This hinge feels nice and flat. And yes, hanging up on someone with this hinge, still satisfying. Up front, we have a bigger 4-inch cover display. You can clearly see how immersive that is side by side with the old Razer Plus with an already big cover screen. On the side, you get the same buttons, volume buttons, and an unlock button that doubles as a fingerprint scanner. Speakers here, and yes, they're dual stereo speakers from Dolby Atmos, USB-C at the bottom, and on the side, a SIM tray. Inside, that's a 6.9-inch Full HD Plus screen, retaining the size of the previous Razer Plus. And yes, that's an improved screen protector that you should not be removing. This new one now covers the whole screen versus the older one, which had a camera cut. Out. This time though, the phone now has a larger 4000 mAh battery, which is great because that was something that needed improvement from their last iteration. And not only that, this also has faster 45 watt wired and 15 watt wireless charging. There's even reverse wireless charging on this phone too. Now the Moto Razr Plus 2024 is supposedly more durable too. That's a Gorilla Glass Victus display and an even better IPX8 rating. Finally, this is powered by a Snapdragon 8S Gen 3, and this means this phone is fully capable of AI. Oh, and also there are cute cases you can get for these phones. I absolutely love these. It's not just the size, it's the performance too. 
that improved on the new Razer Plus cover screen. You're still able to open apps on the cover screen, which has been a Moto Razer string. It's honestly so cool and convenient to be replying to messages on here, browsing through IG, watching YouTube vids, or even playing games. But there's more. You get more immersive panels now. There's also a new panel for Spotify, which is so nice. You don't even need to open your phone to get your sounds anymore. And a pinch will allow you to see all of your panels on the cover screen and you can arrange accordingly. Now, you can also add multiple widgets to a panel so you have instant access to them on the cover screen. It's like how you can rearrange widgets on your Android candy bar phone except on the cover screen. There are different themes on the cover screen and lock screen too, and you can customize these to your liking. So, so cute. The new desk display feature allows you to customize the screen when in desk or tent mode, and there's even an approach gesture that'll show you your lock screen without you having to touch your phone. Oh, and yes, there's an always on display on here now. This phone features a 50 megapixel main shooter with bigger pixels and OIS, a 50 megapixel telephoto shooter that can do 2 times optical zoom. It also features a 32 megapixel selfie camera on the inside. And one of the great things about cameras on a flip phone, well, one, that, the gesture on the Moto Razors. And the other thing, taking photos and videos using the flex mode. So you can take your photos with a phone like this, adjust it accordingly. With gestures, it's super easy to take whatever photos. And you can get creative with that. Now, even in the settings, there are so many customization modes, so you have shot optimization, you even have an option on how to display the photo you're about to take on the cover screen. I'm gonna do no crop for now. You also have your camcorder mode, which is pretty fun. Now this works when you flip the camera and flip it to one side, it'll automatically record and you can adjust zooms with this area. Tap to stop recording, tap to keep recording. It's pretty useful. And then we still have the photo booth mode, which gives you this cute little collage. There's also a creator toolkit that adds creative camera effects to other in-app cameras. So here are those effects now, and I've enabled them on the Instagram app. So when we go over to Instagram stories, you have all the effects here. It's a pretty cool little feature. Now, where's the AI? First of all, Google Gemini is available straight on this cover screen. Press this button. What can you tell me about the Moto Razer Plus 2024? The Motorola Razer Plus 2024 is expected to be unveiled on June 25th, 2024. That's today. Oh, and you also get Gemini Advance for three months free if you get this phone. Also, AI works in the background of this device to enhance performance of cameras, a lot of AI on here, battery, display, and the overall device. Now, AI to optimize devices, that isn't necessarily new, but the most exciting AI news here would be Moto AI. Imagine an AI feature where you just tell your phone to pay attention and then it'll listen in on the conversation you're having. It's good and record it and summarize it and then you can later ask your phone for key points from that conversation. Basically generative AI and contextual awareness, your phone will soon be able to give you suggestions on what you ask depending on where you are and what you're doing. Unfortunately, the features haven't rolled out yet so I've not been able to try them. Expect them to roll out this fall though. As early as now, I can say that the Moto Razr Plus 2024 is definitely an upgrade from its predecessor. No doubt, this phone has one of the most capable and customizable cover screens out there, but is this 4-inch screen enough to get people to flip? Especially moving in today's tech cycle where we're seeing more and more brands attempt flip phones. One thing I will point out though is that the name of Moto's game is customization. And this says so much, especially at the time where we have cover screens, but not much control over them. Right, that's it for today's video. This is our look at the Moto Razr 2024. Let me know what you guys think about this phone. Of course, it's just our first look video, so let me know what you guys want to see me test out with this phone. If you want a camera vlog test or a social media 
test, comment down below. That's it for today. If you want to see how I use my tech on a daily basis, find me online. That's Isa does underscore on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Until next time.